man you'll never see. Never will, as, as the preacher said, see the righteous forsaken. Nor his seed begging bread. And that's an appropriate song that was sung. I'm so glad God's in charge because he, he picked out better, maybe a song better than I could. Especially what he want us to talk about this morning. Is that all right? All right. Last time we were before you, we told you to pay attention to the word of God and be blessed. God said, you didn't make that explicit enough. I said, yes, sir. All right. All right. He said, you just, you, I want you right. to make it explicit. There's more to it than just, just the nice little church words, but... But today we're going to talk about pay attention to God's word so you can live. Amen. I don't think they heard that. That, that word went. That's right. See, you, it, and, unless you're living for God, you can't live. And if you can't live, you can't be blessed. Because folks, that's what it bothers me in the church. We have more poor me babies in the church than in the world. Amen. And God says, you know, you need to pay attention to my word. Yes, Lord that you may live. Because I came that you might have life. How can you say? More abundantly. The thief cometh but to kill, steal, and destroy. And for some reason, we believe his report more than we do God. Well, you said you need book on it. Let's get some book on it then. Our new, our Old Testament scriptures will come from Psalm 33 and we're going to start at verse 16. We're just going to read 16, then we're going to go down, on down through 22, very, very hurriedly. There is no king saved by the multitude of an host. What does that really mean? I don't care how many gang-banging members you have. I don't care what you're trying to do in the world because you're a big corporation or you're a whatever. You might have the biggest job on earth, but the president can't save us. Saved by the multitude of the host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. In other words, you can pump a hand till you bang, pop out your neck, but you can't be saved. And, and some of us love our cars and things so much. And a horse is vain, is a vain thing for safety. In other words, we think in the market, your burglar alarm don't keep you safe. They are hearing God this morning. Neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. You don't have it. We're, we're, we're dependent, and we have to understand that without God, we can do nothing. nothing. This is how we ought to live and understand. Listen to his word now. Pay attention. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him or them that reverence him. In other words, that, that, that take his word and what he said to heart upon them that what? Hope in his mercy. I don't care. You're not going to get no mercy in the world. No, sir. To deliver their soul from what? What did he say? You want to deliver your soul from? Yeah. Come on. Don't, don't, let, don't let that word scare you. I'm not afraid of death. No, so death has no more dominion over me. And to keep them what? Alive in famine. Now, we don't have to worry about no famine, but in Amos 8 and 11, it's a famine for the word. People don't want to hear that. They rather, they rather hear some nonsense that they think that's going to get them over. Now, I so, I so waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Anybody believe that? Yes, Why? For our hearts, for our hearts, singular, shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. See, we get all kind of names out there in the world and we think that gives us street creds. You don't want them kind of credits. No, Let thy mercy, O Father, be upon us. 
Now listen very closely. This is why I said you got to pay attention in the word so you can live. Now how does how let how does mercy rest upon it? Even though he says it's renewed daily, but he says, "Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us." Why? As a condition, according as we hope in thee. Do you hope in him? Or do you think you can do it? No, you think your husband can do it? You think it was? No, no, no. It has to be him. We have no strength in and of ourselves, so we have to. Romans 6, very familiar chapter. We're going to commence at 16 again. Then that's kind of how God, he just does things so and all. Now, I didn't even recognize that. Today. Know ye not. Romans 6 and 6. Know ye not. Now, pay very close attention. Know ye not that whom you yield yourself servant to obey. His servant ye are to whom you obey. Now, if you obey the devil, who you said? Whether, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. See, you got to pay attention to his word so you can live. A lot of us think we just flip this thing off on Sunday morning. Your ears are, your members, everything you've got, your ears, your mind, your... Your eyes, all of that should be focusing on what God is saying so you can live. But God, listen now, but God be thanked that you were the servants of sin. But you have, not might, you have obeyed from the heart. I mean, you're not playing. From right here. The, the form of doctrine, what you heard, made sense to you, even in the natural, not only in the natural, but something on the inside was stirred. You knew that this was where, that even now, some of you realize it more to the Bible than you were told. If all the, hallelujah, praise the Lord, that's all you might hear in church, but it's more to God's word than that. Which was delivered you. God delivered this wonderful love letter to you. This is very personal. I study it because that's my love letter. And it should be yours. But you have obeyed from the heart. Remember that now. From And you read this word that was delivered to you. Being then made what? Free from sin. Lord have mercy. You Righteousness. You're not playing anymore. The world is not your home. You understand you're just a pilgrim here. It's not a, I speak now after the manner of men because of the infirmities of your flesh. Understand that. It's weak, y'all. I know, I know you don't believe that. Some folks think they got it going on. If they do this, they do that. They going whatever. No. You live, you live unto the Lord. If you die, you die unto the Lord, whether you've acknowledged him or not. Because whether you know all, not some, all souls are mine. Ezekiel 4 and 18. Read it for yourself. Amen. Lord have mercy. For as you have yielded, 